What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today is the one of two videos, the review of New Zealand versus France and then obviously Australia Ireland later today. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future uploads because we are in rugby season and what a way to kick off than that game we just watched, New Zealand versus France. Very interesting game. Why I say interesting is because it was close at one stage. First half, 11-8, um, the French are in the lead. Looking good, looking strong, looking a little bit interesting. But then, one controversial yellow card changes the game. Replay showed, hey, he wasn't too near the head and all that stuff. But it happened, we can't change results whether we agree or disagree, but that did have an impact in the game. And then Australia, then New Zealand just went in for the kill. They saw the weakness, they're like a freaking lion. Saw the weakness and they just went in to destroy. And then came out the class of the All Blacks, which was truly remarkable. What they did in the, in the last second half uh, was truly outstanding. The try scored were brilliant. The the play, the skills were fantastic. And just remember, this was without Captain Kieran Reed, Brody Retallick, and a few other star players. So credit to the All Blacks, but I also want to say credit to France. Why I say credit to France? Because they showed heart. They showed passion. They showed that they were there to play the sport we love to watch. And if I have any advice for them, Take what you did in the first half. Follow that. Find the weaknesses of the All Blacks. Find your strengths. Take that into the next two tests. And then work on that. And maybe, just maybe, we might see an All Black defeat. But, having said that, obviously yellow card. I'm not going to go too much into that. But that had the impact. But then the All Blacks just showed why they're the most dominant um, rugby team in world rugby why they are number one yes they are beatable but they show pure class Broden Barrett didn't have a bad game scored a great try but question mark I have a question on his place kicking I think he slotted only three of those conversions of the eight tries if I'm not mistaken so yeah three try, three conversions two penalties so that is a question mark because and I'll say it again these types of kicks Against a team like South Africa, Australia, Ireland, England, you've got to convert. Because a guy like Johnny Sexton will capitalize on that and then you lose a game. Owen Farrell, Andre Pollard, um, Bernard Foley, those guys will capitalize. Bernard's also up and down with the kicking. But that, that's definitely a question that needs to be watched. And I remember mentioning this last year about the kicking of Bowden. But he's a fantastic rugby player and showed pure skills. Eight tries scored from the All Blacks, one try to France. Um, so uh, it, it, it was interesting game. But then it just got messy. When I say messy, not the soccer player, I mean it just they just dominated. The the tactical kicking to get a try was fantastic. The the movements within the passing. What I love about All Black rugby is. You know, the guy gets tackled. He doesn't just drop. He finds his play. He's looking for his play, passes the ball. They get it out. And that continues. That continues. And that's the way to do it. They don't just panic and throw. They just pass and they find their player. Obviously, there are instances where that does happen. But they're only human. And that what I re uh, what, what I really appreciated from them uh, this evening when they started scoring tries. It was just pure genius tries. I mean, the, the French fullback, if I'm not mistaken, he made a tackle. He went in howls blazing, but he ended up falling down because the All Blacks were just so dominant. He got the guy down, but the player had enough time to look for his player and then pass the ball on, and the try was scored, if I'm not mistaken. And that's the things that one needs to take into account. It's those tiny movements or skillful plays that wins games for teams. And that's where teams need to watch out because it just gives them momentum. I've said this before and I'll say it again. With New Zealand rugby, you've got to play 80, over 80 minutes of rugby because when you're down and out or have a slight weakness, they will see you and they will destroy you. And clearly that was the case today. 
They saw the weakness in the yellow card and they totally dominated. Three quick tries, boom. And it was just 52 points to 11. I mean, they scored over 40 points in that second half. France scored nothing. I think they were down and out. They were mentally drained from that. But they need to move forward now. They need to look at the positives. And there were positives, guys. Don't get me wrong. There were positives. The first half, French, the French were in the lead. That is a massive positive against a team like New Zealand. And let's not forget, the French rugby team is young, developing new system, new coaching staff, all that stuff. We watched them come up slightly in um, the Six Nations. And, and, and to have that effort, saying first half, the dog even agrees with me outside, to have that effort in the first half is quite remarkable. And credit, where credit I give credit where credit's due. So, interesting game. Really was an interesting game, but overall, I think the All Blacks can be proud of their performance. Just from the skillfulness, the tactical kicking, the the, the passing was genius, and and the boys just look good. Rico Leone take a bow, son. Two tries. What an awesome game he had! Um, it was truly remarkable. Adi Savia scored a great one. Shows his strength and passion for the game. Uh, who else scored? Nigani Laum. Um, Pear, excuse me for saying that wrong. He scored a try. Damien McKenzie, you guys in New Zealand have a winner there. He is quick. He is nippy. He's a great, great rugby player. And I, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, he can. He can kick as well. So he's a gem that New Zealand need to look after, mould and develop. Because him in the World Cup next year, guys, I can see big things happening for that guy. He's truly, truly remarkable. Ben Smith. As usual, fantastic player. He got in a try. Um, Cody, uh, Cody Taylor also getting one. So, interesting game. Very interesting. Some question marks, of course. But definitely a performance that will put a little shiver down the spine of teams looking for New Zealand. Because, it, again, yes, error, but, boom. Pure dominance, pure strength, and pure genius genius play and that's why they're the number one in the world because they are so good at capitalizing on situations or that are tough that are that are hard and all that stuff i mean france in the sixth minute um remy grosso scores a try then nah you rattled you rattled what the heck's going on now france are in the lead and they're strong they're looking positive and passionate but unfortunately couldn't hold it on all Blacks only scored a try in the 21st minute when Bodie, uh, Bowden Barrett scored one. So, ah, you know, it was a very interesting game. A lot to look forward to next week. I think we're going to, personally, I don't think we're going to see a dominant, as a dominant performance. Um, I think France are going to try and bounce back, look strong, um, and, and get, get, get in the motivation system to, to, to go at the All Blacks. They see the weaknesses, take what they had in that first half and move it into the next two, last two tests because anything is possible. They just need to believe in themselves and have the right mindset. But that is the video. That Well done to the All Blacks. I'm sure you guys are smiling. Great victory. 52 points to 11. True dominant performance. Yellow card question mark. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below on the yellow card. Yes, no. I didn't think it was uh, necessary, but... Alas, it happened. What will be, will be. And we now focus on to the next test. Guys, don't go anywhere. In just under two hours, uh, just over two and a half hours, I will do the preview of Australia versus Ireland. The boys are running out in the park now. And I'm looking forward to watching that one. And then later tonight, the Springboks are taking on England. Hit the subscribe button. That preview is going to be tomorrow because I will be watching that with a few mates and having a few points. If not, why not? So hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.